With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, when the number of turns in a coil is doubled without any change in the length of the coil, its self-inductance becomes so we know here self-inductance is given by the formula mu naught into n square into pi into r square divided by we have here as length. Now here length is not being changed. So here as length is constant, pi is constant, mu naught is constant and radius of the let's say coil is also constant. Hence we can say here self-inductance is directly proportional to square of number of turns. Now as n is doubled, that is we can say here the ratio of self-inductance L1 by L2 will be equal to N1 divided by N2, we have here whole square. So initial inductance is L, final inductance we need to find out. Here N1 is N and N2 here is 2N whole square. So we have here L by L2 is equal to 1 upon 4. So we can say here the new inductance is equal to 4 times the initial inductance that is here we have here 4 times as the correct answer that is its self inductance will become 4 times so option 3 is the correct answer hence 3 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today